morning. Today I'm gonna show you uh, how to prepare the trolley and the chemicals. First, we have to use the PPE. First, uh, wear the mask so you will not inhale the chemical. Make sure it's, uh, it's not beaten on your face. And the next is the goggles. This is for the protection of your eyes, just in case you splash something of the uh, or some of the chemicals on your face. The next is the gloves. Okay. Uh, now we are preparing for the preserve solution which we are going to use for isolation room. First we have to break it to fit inside the bottle. And close it and wait for uh, two minutes for the preserve to uh, two minutes for the preserve to dissolve in the water. Yala. Uh, uh, this uh, this bottle has one liter f uh, of uh, water. For one liter, you will you will need uh, one tablet of precept. Now this is our 3M uh, uh, chemical dispenser. This is auto diluted. Uh, use hose here. Uh, this is the water going here, and if you twist it and put it here, and if you open this. Uh, for the isolation isolation room, this uh, 3M diluted chemical in water, and uh, we will use around uh, 10 liters of water. And this blue map is for the isolation room. Time of precept is uh, 10 minutes. For discharging a uh, uh, patient room, in our trolley we have what we need: a uh, disposable cloth for the bed and the, uh, the trash bins and uh, this yellow cloth for isolation for the surfaces especially the the area that uh, the patient touch and we have this uh, the solution of, of uh, was <laughs> okay this is our glass cleaner our uh, air freshener and this is for scouring uh, powder for the sink and we have the dustpan and the brush. We have this high dusting applicator. And for our isol uh, oh, okay. this is our caution sign. Um, we, we have the, our yellow bag. Important, the, uh, the yellow tag. And we have this airborne mask, the N95. We have also the regular mask and the cable side. Yeah. And we have here, we have here the, the bucket with the 3M chemical for mapping the floor and the blue isolation map. We are going to the isolation room that we need to discharge. Now we are going to clean this room and this is a droplet uh, uh, isolation room and for droplet we are gonna need this uh, gown the regular mask and gloves so I'm gonna wear the PPE now first I'm gonna wear pause <laughs>
daw. Overlap. It's overlapping and uh, it's, it's it's not big on your body. Mask. Then after the gown, you wear mask. And then the mask, uh, the glove, <laughs> gloves. And then the gloves. Make sure that it's covered the sleeve of your gown. I have to dump with me. No. <laughs> uh, I will start with the high dusting. This uh, is my high dusting uh, applicator. I will wet it a little. Start from this uh, part, clockwise. I will uh, dust this uh, area. And also, For isolation room, we will use this yellow uh, yellow cloth and make it wet with chemical, which is the preserve to wipe the all the particles and pictures to disinfect the uh, the environment surfaces. Furniture and furniture. I have to talk. Part also the line. And this is the area where the patient and the morophy touches. And we will check for any spot, any blood, or any dirt on the on the wall and on the window. Oh. This is also cut paper dispenser. We will clean this surface. And this area. Oh, there we go. This door you, you clean from top to bottom. Make sure it's properly white and clean. There's no dust. There is no dirt. Or there is no blood. Especially this area, make sure there is no dust from top to bottom. After finishing uh, the, the, the walls, now we will start cleaning this table well, with the use of a disposable cloth and our chemical, the preset. We are going from this stuff. Very good. 
Usually this part, there is a tea spill. So make sure this is clean. Thank you. 